Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up an uh, OBD2 scanner to your vehicle and how to find the port. Now the port can be in a number of places, but 90% of the times it's going to be in the driver's foot well area. And on this particular car, which is a 2016 Toyota Prius, the OBD2 port is right here. So you'll find the port anywhere from this area uh, all the way over to sometimes the center console so on BMWs Mercedes Benzes they'll have a cup holder right here right in here and then right next to it you'll see a little symbol that shows like a like a lightning symbol or a, a check engine light and uh, that is going to be your OBD2 port sometimes it'll actually say OBD uh, or OBD2 port and you just remove the cover and you slide on the uh, slide in the OBD2 port uh, connector and so I'm going to pause this video connect this and uh, see how it goes I normally don't scan Priuses um, and I'm kind of interested in seeing what it actually shows as far as the monitors what information we're going to be able to check on this little scanner which is only 20 bucks and I'll have a link to it in the description below it works on any vehicle uh, from a Porsche to a Toyota um, if you have a Honda product, I'll have another description. Sometimes on Hondas, this thing gets a little hung up uh, for some strange reason. Uh, but let me go ahead and pause this and, and connect this. All right, so in order to scan the computer, you want to make sure your ignition is on. On this case, in this Prius, you want to make sure it doesn't say ready. So if it says ready up here, or if you have an older Prius, that means the car is actually on. You want the car, just the ignition to be on. So to do that, don't have your foot on the brake and hit the power button and one more time and when all the lights turn on but without saying ready then you're able to scan the vehicle now so I'm gonna come down here to the OBD2 scanner and it's gonna scan the car it's got uh, zero check engine lights so no codes on the monitors, misfire is ready. Okay, so it's got a catalytic converter system that gets ready, so EVAP is ready. So this little scanner, even with the hybrids, it does a really good job. Um, all the same monitors as almost a regular car. So, and then you're able to check the VIN number um, as well. You can rescan it, and if you come to the second function, you can come here and scan, uh, erase any codes Let's just say you got a check engine light on because you left it, left the gas cap off. Uh, and you want to make sure this isn't a permanent uh, problem. You want to erase it and then go take the car for a drive and see if you pop up that same code. If that code doesn't reappear, then uh, the computer either corrected it or you just left the gas cap loose. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And uh, if there's a car that you're not able to locate the OBD2 port on, let me know. I would love to help you out. Uh, hit the thumbs up button uh, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.